La notte, vaiolo di vita, sempre uguale. The night was still. Hi listeners, I'm Felix Guattari, and I'm transmitting from Radio Alice here in Bologna in 1977. As you know, I'm here tonight because our generation has failed you. We, the old thinkers, activists, philosophers, the autonomia movement, etc., could have never imagined what would have become of our collective subjectivity. You live in an era of catastrophes in terms of the climate, of the subconscious, and in terms of ecosphere. The three ecologies have collapsed all together in unison. This last capitalistic neoliberal wave of total destruction created a monumental refrains, a singular massive event made up of tiny micropolitical applications that has imploded in itself and has been playing like a sonata in your mind since what feels like infinity and will resound for brand new era of total transformation. The accelerationist refrain is here and now. And I feel sorry for having paid the way, as I could say, and take full responsibility for the new subjectivities. Sixty-eight and seventy-seven were the last molecular revolutions. We were carried along by events, the slogans that were coined and the splinters groups. We had no way of seeing the future of CIMAT and social destruction. We have now to reconstruct the social field, the subject and the ecosystem if we want a chance of survival and it all starts with a role analysis. We have to rectify our mistakes. For example, in 77 at Radio Alice, we spoke against the reigning ideologies and demanded both for ourselves and for others more freedom and creativity through speech, but also through technical and material means. We successfully modified what I would call modes of semiotization. Today, you, the new generation, are all imaginatis jobless, with no future and no chance of survival. The daily guerrilla warfare of the airwaves is not enough anymore. We have to go toward a new ecosophy. The etymology of echo is oikos home. There is a need for a mental ecology against the integrated world capitalism. It is not enough to take to the streets and weave place cards. An entire mental ecology is necessary in order not to give integrated world capitalism our unconscious assent. Moving transversally to open today's closed logics and hierarchies, between the three ecologies of the environment, the social and the psyche, ecologic no longer imposes a resolution of opposites. In the domain of social ecology, there will be times of struggle, like today, in which everyone will feel impelled to decide on common objectives and to act as good activists. Our survival on this earth is not only threatened by the deterioration of the environment, but the complete destruction of the social textile and ways of living of the contemporary psyche. Today, we have never seen the youth as abandoned in the mental health struggles, which are way more prominent than the ones of the past. Psychoanalysis is the best capitalist drug. You can get off on its ritual interpretations and how it makes desire a family affair, shutting the door of consulting rooms on the social. Come una marionetta. On taglietto al dito una catastrofe sciso. Le bricio del tempo. Rising deterioration of human relations with the socius, the psyche and nature is due not only to environmental and objective pollution, 
but it is also the result of a certain incomprehension and fatalistic passivity towards these issues as a whole. Ecology is vital to the consideration of how to model the psyche in a way that is sensitive to world tied up in impasses of every kind. Beyond the relations of actualized forces, the three ecologies will not simply attempt to preserve TJ and the gendered species of cultural life, but equally to engender conditions for the creational development of unprecedented formations of subjectivity. very clear, my transversalist conception of subjectivity escapes the individual social distinction as well as the giveness or preformedness of the subject either as a person or individual. Subjectivity is a group phenomenon. It is completely de-individualized and depersonalized, a consequence of foregrounding the social environment. The explanations offered for this decline of social praxis, the death of ideologies, and the return of universal values seem to me unsatisfactory. Rather, it appears to be the result of the failure of social and psychological praxis to adapt, as well as a certain blindness to the erroneousness of dividing the real into a number of discrete domains. It is quite wrong to make a distinction between action on the psyche, the social, and the environment. Refusal to face up to the erosion of these three areas, as the media would have us do, verges on a strategic infantilization of opinion and a destructive neutralization of democracy. We need to kick the habit of sedative discourse. Gli occhi del fango, fessura vertical. El Angelo Sterminator, Bagold, Il Prof Dingele, Al Alangolo della Bocca. We are crashed under the weight of mass media by images of power by a manipulation of the imagination in the service of an oppressive social order by the fabrication, whatever the cost, of a majority consensus, by the cult of security, by processes of intoxication that scare people about everything and nothing, infantilizing them to the point that they no longer ask themselves any questions. Everyone participates in this tremendous network of collective equipments. Through them, integrated global capitalism carries out vast cross-fertilizations of territories, representations, images, and systems of control. Unconscious complexes develop less on the familial Oedipus than on this type of equipment of mass media effects. We can't utter a phrase or make a gesture that isn't immediately inscribed into the network that they constitute. Multiple semiotico machinic gauges orient guide. Marginalize or reward us, that was exactly what needed to be said. Psychotic and science fiction writers have long anticipated the interpretation of this machinic environment, of these waves, these influences. Once again, we find ourselves faced with something that is going in the direction of a dissolution of the categories of individual identity, personological poles, and social groups as such. Perhaps we flew too close to the sun. We had already imagined it, but we could not foresee how fast the changes were going to happen or materialize as it were.
That is why tonight on the air, I'm telling you this. I'm making this speech to rectify our mistakes. The machinic desires and the abstract machinic subconscious structure was a mistake. A concept that got immediately utilized by the integrated world capitalism. If I can suggest a way forward this multi-layered catastrophe and end of times that we the old generation have brought forward with our ideas and concept is to go back home, return home we have ventured far enough and think through a new ecosophy to save the planet and save the subjectivization of the future. A virtual ecology, a space in which subjects are truly creative, are radically open and simply not what is now actual. La leg della mescolanza. Ma non dimenticare. In croce proliferazione. Ho cantato con gli altri. La trama delle cose piuttosto che drama della vita. Mantenere la rota. Consistenza del virtuale. Ritornello reale.